Hello, and thank you for tuning in to see what we prepare for you in this release. I will briefly show you examples of some of our new tools and features in 1.5, such as Visualize Route, Identify Feature Attributes, GPX Support, and select multiple categories in Biology. There's also another major feature that, like, that I would like to point out first, which is the ability to update within the extension itself. What this means is that we will let you know when a new update is available through a notification inside the extension. You are also able to download the extension from our party page at www.esri.com slash maps for Adobe. Let's now move on to show you other great improvements and features in this release. The very first thing you will notice different is our signing experience. When you launch the extension, you are only shown this window and then the rest of the extension will show once you have successfully signed in or signed up. Okay, so say I want to make a poster map for my friend who just took a trip to Newfoundland for his birthday. I will show you the steps to get me started using our latest features. So I will start with creating the first map of the... Okay, so I will start with creating one map, which is the first leg of the trip. I'm gonna start with covering Redlands and Ontario. For that, I'm going to draw an extent that will cover both areas. I'm going to hit OK, go to Preview. Now, I want to visualize the route that my friend took from Redlands to Ontario International Airport. For that, I'm going to start with adding content, add place, add Redlands. and now Ontario. As you can see, two layers have been added. But now I want to visualize the route. For that, I'm going to use the tool Visualize Route. I'm going to go to my starting point, Redlands, Visualize Route, select my destination, change it to Driving Distance, and Apply. Please keep in mind that this is a visualization tool and not a directions tool. Also, if you are an ArcGIS Online user, this type of analysis will consume credits. Now I have a visual of my friend's route from Redlands to Ontario. Now I would like to show you another part of our Visualize Route tool. And for that, I'm gonna use the route that he took from Ontario Airport to Newfoundland. And once again, to get that started, I'm gonna draw an extent that goes from Southern California all the way to Eastern Canada. I'm gonna add two points. I'm going to start with Ontario Airport, visualize route, select this, select the line, and hit apply. What this tool does is that it will connect two points or one point to many points. In this case, it's from one point to another. As you can see, this gives us a line, but as you can tell, the line is curved. The reason for that is because this tool takes into consideration the curvature of the Earth. Now, I will show you our identified feature attributes. For that, I'm going to activate our attributes tool. Select an attribute. And I'm going to add the, the total miles. What this does is that it will add a layer to your table of contents or layers panel 
So that way you can edit it later in Adobe Illustrator. I have now made two maps, but I would like to make another one of what he actually did for his birthday. All I know is that he went on a hike on the northeast northeastern part of the island, but I don't know exactly where that is. Since we now support GPX support, I will, I'm going to add a GPX file that he provided. All I have to do is drag and drop into the extension, and the extension is smart enough that it will draw and extend automatically that will cover the GPX coordinates that were on his file. As you can see, I have now a route of his hike, as well as a layer. So I have now visualized most of his trip, but I'm missing one thing, a map of St. John's. So what I'm going to do next is find St. John's on the map. I'm going to zoom in. Draw an extent. And preview it. But I want to make this map more interesting. What I will do is I'm going to add a layer. I'm going to add an OpenStreetMap layer, roads, for example. As you can see, I have now all the major roads in St. John's. But some of them are orange or dark orange or different shades of gray. But I want to make them all in one color. With our new feature, we can now select multiple symbols and edit them. I'm going to change them all to orange. and hit OK. So these are the major features that I wanted to mention, but there's a couple other ones that I would like to talk about. We've added a toggle button here so that whenever you add a map that contains layers that are not able to draw, you can click the toggle button and it will hide those layers and it will clean up your layers panel or table of contents. We also added a reorder feature in which it would reorder your layers from raster layers, get moved to the bottom, then vector polygons, then lines, then points are moved to the top in that order. Thank you for tuning in to see what's new in this release. We hope you enjoy it.